Well, you remember the crossroads, right? Let's talk to you about a World War II veteran showing the scare of bullet wounds he suffered on his head on the 28th February 1948. Yawasari, who is a World War II veteran, to, uh, also took part in a protest on the day, shares a rare story of that particular day. He's been speaking with John Isis Latif Idriso at the 72nd anniversary of the killing of the three ex-service men. 98-year-old Yawasari recounted how his contribution to the laying of the foundation of Job 600 is. There is more in this report. In its final days, the boycott of European goods, which was instigated by Ni Kwabena Boni, who was referred back in the day as Boycott Hene, and the subsequent protests and agitation that followed resulted in the killing of three ex servicemen right here on the 28th February Road. The killing of Sergeants Ajete, Private Odate Lamte, and Corporal Atipo feel the quest for political independence. Today, at the commemoration of the 72nd anniversary, some ex servicemen are recounting what took place on that particular day and how it has affected their lives even today. Hello, Mr. Sari? Yes, Yawasari. Yawasari is a World War II veteran. And thank you for the He was here at the 28th February Road when the three ex-servicemen were shot and killed in 1948. We want to congratulate you for... Those people, they never, they never been second. I've been the second. Yeah, that's what is actually. What's happening here? 1948. I'm including. See, there's a bullet. This is a bullet. 1948. Come here, come here, come here. I was the first president before the bill at the house. You are talking about the job 600. Yes, I was including before the D house. Before the independent, 1957, we, we fight here. We could bullet, bullet. So clearly you have been in the trenches and you just pointed this scar to me. I just want to find out from you, marking the anniversary today, what, what does this scar remind you of on that particular day right here? I don't want to talk. I don't want to tell you something. Congratulations to you, sir, and we wish you long life. Uh, so you, you will live to witness, you are 98, so you live to witness a lot more of these in the, uh, anniversaries. So, I'm going, I'm going now. All right, thank you. Sir. Thank you. Actual fact, it wasn't nice at all, but it happens. So we take this in a lesson from it, that next time, if such a thing happens, those in charge, or those authorities should think carefully before they act. How did that shape your perception about the army even before you moved in? Oh, it gave me a very, very, very high morale to be in the army. You mean the killing of the three no, gave no, you no, high no, morale? To join the army. The, the killing is very bad. It's, it's not good at all. Mm. It's very, very bad. It shouldn't have not happened. But some say this sparked the struggle yes. and the quest. Yes for independence yeah. so it was worth so it it was working towards our independence so in actual fact those people who were there we have to praise them and give time to god and their family and those of us who are just joined to we should learn something from them and keep our morale high and do whatever they tell us to do So the three laid down their lives and paid the ultimate price in a quest for the political struggle and independence of this very republic. Today, let's ask ourselves, are we ready to lay down our lives and sacrifice to make Ghana a better place for the generation yet unborn? Latif Idris, Joy News, the 28th February Road. Osu.